Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be creating a Mirabelle inspired set. It's from the new film Encanto. Um, it is such a good film, really, really excellent. I highly recommend you go and watch it if you haven't already. My eight-year-old daughter absolutely <laughs> loves the film Encanto. So I do recommend you go and watch it. I even love it myself. So I really wanted to create these set of nails as my daughter absolutely loves the film. I watch the film and I love it myself too. And I really wanted to create a set inspired by Mirabelle and what she wears and her kind of colours and personality. So first of all, I am going in with the colour Bellflower from the gel bottle. I have applied two coats. I am now going in with a matte top coat. Once I've cured this nail for 60 seconds, so I do one coat, 60 seconds, second coat, 60 seconds, then I do the matte top coat, 60 seconds, then I give it um like a wipe down with some acetone just to remove any inhibition layers or anything like that. I then go ahead with my design. Now for this design, I am of course drawing Mirabelle herself. <laughs> um, I am using Premier Gel's white gel polish and the art brush I am using is from the art brush set from The Beauty Supply. So whenever I draw characters on nails or, or like any kind of images like faces or anything like that on nails, like cartoony kind of nail art, I always like to draw their silhouette and fill it in so that way I've got a nice base to work on and also it helps the colours stand out as well so this is just a rough guide so what I have done is gone on my phone and found an image of Mirabelle on Google and roughly traced um, her silhouette kind of shape and image and stuff and then gone in and filled it in um, just to give it a nice base for the colours to pop I am now going in with the gel bottle caramel and I am mixing that with tan just to give that perfect colour I need for Mirabelle. So I'm going to mix the two together. I was going to go for just caramel but I thought nah let me mix it, make it look like not more realistic but more like how she looks. So that was my aim for this um picture of her I wanted it to look as realistic as possible so like when I done her glasses and things like that I wanted it to be like the same colors and stuff and I basically tried to match it up <laughs> as much as I could so here I am filling hit filling in her face so this again is just rough so if you want to obviously if you want to go in and make your character's face wider longer or anything like that you can go in and of course you can even go in and make it shorter by just adding a little bit more white around the edges and things like that it's never too late for things like this you can always go in and amend you can make things wider smaller and things like that so I'm going in filling in her arm as well so here I am trying to trace her eye shape as similar as possible <laughs> I did try my best and again, going in with like her eye colour as well. I must admit, at first, I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure if it entirely looks like her. And I thought, Hava, do you know what? Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. So I kept going. And as I kept going along, I was thinking, mm, it's looking a bit like her, but not quite. Not quite how I wanted. So I just kept going, kept going. Then when I got towards the end result, I was so, so impressed. Even my daughter was so, so impressed. I was just like, I can't believe I've literally drawn her. <laughs> it's such a nice, um, what's the word? It's a nice feeling as a nail artist and a nail tech to like draw something when you can't even imagine doing it. And you're like, oh my God, it looks so much like them. So it is a very rewarding thing to have and a rewarding hobby um, to have. And it's just such a rewarding thing to do. So I'll stop with the rambling. I'm going in with, I think this is chocolate from the gel bottle for Mirabelle's eyebrows. So as you can see, her face needs to be a little bit wider. So it's never too late. You just go in with that colour and just extend where you want to extend. And to be honest, I think I did draw her face a little bit too thin anyway. In 
comparison to the original picture so I thought you know it, there's no harm in making her face a little bit wider so that's where I went in with a little more of that colour so as you can see I'm just going around the eyebrow making sure I'm not ruining the work I've gone in with so you just want to carefully go around what you've just created of course if you're happy with it Now for the lips, I'm going in with Impulsive from the Gel Bottle. As you can see, I have drawn her nose. For her nostrils, I think I used Chocolate, which is the same as our eyebrows. And for the shading, I think it was Tan. I I'm sure it was, but I've, do you know what? I've used so many colours in this. <laughs> but I just basically went for the lighter brown. So that way it was the shading. So now I'm going in with Premier Gel's white for her teeth. Now for Mirabelle's glasses, I am going in with Sweet Pea from the Gel Bottle. For the detailing on her glasses, I am using, I think it's called Glow Stick from premiere gel and i am now going in with marshmallow from the gel bottle for her pink cheeks and now for her hair i am using chocolate from the gel bottle Now to create some shading, I am blending in tan from the gel bottle with a little bit of some prep wipe.
I am now going in with Bolt from the Gel Bottle Ink for Mirabelle's earrings. Now for the detailing on Mirabelle's dress, I am using black gel polish from Premier Gel. Now this bit was very, very challenging. I am literally attempting to draw the tiniest butterflies. I'm now going in with some multicoloured detailing on Mirabelle's dress. The colour I am using now is Gilly from the Gel Bottle Ink. Now that I have finished my Mirabelle nail, I have applied a matte top coat to that nail. I have gone in with another coat of Sweet Pea over her glasses. I have um, put some extra curls in her hair using black gel polish from Premier Gel. So as you can see, her curls are standing out a little bit more. I have gone in with Bellflower once again on this nail. I have applied a matte top coat and I have wiped down the inhibition layer. I am now going in with a butterfly design using black gel polish from Premier Gel. I wanted to go in with butterflies with this theme. It's because there's quite a lot of butterflies throughout the film. And there's a few butterflies on Mirabelle's dress as well. So once I have applied... Um, my black gel polish like with drawing the butterflies i will cure that nail for 60 seconds please do ignore the bumps on that nail i had a few incidents where i kept drawing butterflies and i wasn't happy with it so i went in again and again and again and as i've like filed it down you can kind of see ridges but it's not the end of the world um because a lot of the time not all the time but a lot of the time when you apply a top coat you won't see those ridges which was quite good because once I went in with my matte top coat over these butterflies, you no longer saw any ridges. It went over really smoothly. So once I have drawn these butterflies, I will cure them for 60 seconds. I will then go in with a matte top coat, cure that for 60 seconds, wipe down the inhibition layer. I will then go in with a high shine non-wipe top coat only over the butterflies cure those for 30 seconds and then I will go ahead and apply a gold chrome powder.
This gold chrome powder is just a cheap basic one from eBay. You know when you've just started out being a nail tech and you've discovered all the new products and you just type it on eBay and you find anyone that's cheap. It's one of them ones so it's not particularly a brand or anything like that but it is actually really really good as you can see. I've actually had it for quite a long time as well. So once I've cured the shiny top coat which I've applied only over the dots and the butterflies for 30 seconds I am going in with this gold chrome powder after I have applied my powder, I will dust off any excess chrome. Then I will apply a high shine non wipe top coat only to the gold detail. Now that I have gone in with Premier Gel's white gel polish, I have now gone in with a matte top coat. I am now going in with a mixture of some crystals. The first crystal I have applied is the Chameleon. It's, it's part of like the Chameleon mix from Diamond Glitters. And the pearls I am applying are from Amazon. So these are like a mixture of crystals from Diamond Glitters, Amazon and crystal parade i wanted to add a mix of different colored crystals and mainly crystals that kind of went with the theme of mirabelle's dress Now this nail is going to match Mirabelle's skirt like from her dress so I am going in with the colour blue I think it's blue lagoon blue lagoon from the gel bottle and bolt from the gel bottle I am creating a gel ombre so now I am going in with a second coat so now both those colours are cured for 60 seconds I'm now going in with a second coat. So what you do is you apply your first colour from the cuticle down, then your second colour at the tip like this, and then you get them as close together as possible. Then you use an ombre brush and you blend side to side. Then you give the brush a clean, then you go in again, and then you, you basically do it until you're happy with the blend. So you just go in again once you've cleaned your brush. So once you're happy with that blend, you then go in with your top coat. I'm going in with a matte top coat, then curing for 60 seconds, then giving it a wipe down.
on and then now as you can see I am spelling Mirabelle's name this was like the embroidery on her dress it was written on her dress so again I went on to Google that's why I didn't film the first few letters because <laughs> I went on to Google to copy the first few letters and then I kind of went back onto Google memorized what it looked like then popped my camera back on then filmed the rest for you all so as you can see it's kind of like embroidery writing it also had the little heart in there I tried to make it as similar as possible also the same color theme and then now I am going in with premier gels matte top coat curing for 60 seconds then I will give it a wipe down once I have done that, I have completed the set. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Here are the Encanto Mirabelle inspired nails. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one.